Crusader Kings 2. This is the House Hightower series, and as I, the Golden Joe Oblivion, are back with our man Lord Uther, the open handed of the Iron Throne. Uh, t not really a king, technically, Lord Protector of the Realm. And uh, that's because last episode, I think we won the war for the Iron Throne. We had the Baratheons completely surrounded. Completely surrounded. And we were able to take the Seven Kingdoms. So now all we have to do is rule for 15 years, and then we can change the rule to Agnatic Cognatic Primogeniture, and uh, it'll no longer be an, ol an oligarchic elective. Apparently, people are voting for our treasurer to be next. I wonder why. Let's see, supporting my candidate. I don't have a candidate, so let's see who they're... Let's see, Lord Paramount Norwin of the Westlands. Yeah, I want to see my treasurer. Why are they supporting the my treasurer? He's a pious man, he's a prestigious man, he's a foreigner, he's too young. Ah, uh, okay. So he's just, I mean, they're just selecting the people they think is best. Lady Lenora of Dorne. Well, it won't matter, because in 15 years we're going to change this to uh, uh, despotic hered her hereditary uh, hereditary inheritance. So it'll be House Hightower ruling, led by Lord Uther, who's essentially, I think someone has claimed that Lord Uther is kind of like the idealist equivalent of uh, Lord Tywin Lannister. Only of, uh, only, I mean, instead of being like, uh, because Tywin is a really smart guy. I'm not saying Lord Uther isn't a smart guy. It's just, he's not really known for being really, really smart. You know, he's, he's not known for being like Varys or Peter Baelish or as smart as Tywin Lannister. He just seems to have, like, the best traits. I think he just has, uh, the, may, possibly the most virtuous character. And maybe that's why everyone's like, yeah, it's okay. Let, let, let's let have a Lord Uther rule because he's just... He's just a great guy. He's just a great guy. There's nothing wrong with him. Anyways, uh, with the... W so, now that the Iron Throne's taken, all we really have left to do is change the Inheritance Rules, Inheritance Rules, and we need to invade the Iron Isles because uh, we need to subjugate them. Otherwise, they're going to keep raiding uh, 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 Westeros. So we, can't, we can't have that. We also need to have more children. I'm thinking about changing my focus to family... Or perhaps we should do rulership. How old is Talara? She's 30. Uh, she is getting kind of old. She's getting kind of old, which means it's going to hurt her fertility. So we might have to go... I mean, three children is okay, but I want I want more. We need more. Rename character. No, I like Vortimer. I like Vortimer. So I'm not sure if we've done our council and everything like that yet. We might have. Looks like we have, sort of. And we have done our minor titles and everything, right? Council looks good to go. Okay. Intrigue, we're out of stopping plots, right? Yes, and I don't think anyone is conspiring against us. Dispose of wildfire. Order the Pirate Masters of King's Landing to dispose of the oldest and most unstable pots of wildfire. I think that costs money to do, so we're not going to do that for right now. We're just going to get the timer going. I'm going to crank this up a bit, too. What well, quality of education would you like to purchase for your daughter, Lady Allery Hightower? Only the best. Who is she married to? Oh, Lord, oh right, right. Lord Samuel of the Arbor. Great. She can't pick a learning education, and if she picked stewardship, she would all she would be benefited and hindered by it. Ah, uh, well, shit. Maybe intrigue would be better for her, because we're just going with what her highest stat is. Sure, let's do that. Ooh, Lady Galissa, betrothed to Oswell Redwine in a matrilineal marriage. We're gonna marry the Redwines out of existence. Kind of by accident. I wasn't really planning on doing that. A vacancy has become available in the King's Guard. Oh, yes, that was something else we were doing. Sir Alex Stone is King's Guard. Balon Swan. Hosman Endicott. Somebody, somebody asked why why I was so keen on getting rid of Lord Commander Balin, considering he has 95 Marshall, even when he's fucking old as hell, and he has cancer. That does actually affect his personal combat skill. Holy shit. So if he wasn't old and if he didn't have cancer, his dual skill would probably be one of the highest I've ever seen in the game. I, I, I wanted to replace him mainly because he was he was the Lord Commander for the previous king, and he was letting King's Guards into the King's Guard who I felt were not good enough. And you know the problems start at the top and they trickle down. Let's go, but but, but we, we can't replace him anyway, so it doesn't really matter. All right, who else do we have? We've got Sir Gabriel Darkholm, who has 110 dual skill. In two years, he'll become old, though. Hmm, Sir Talbart. Talbert. He's a reach man, and he's of the R'hllor religion. That's not good. Uh, Sir Tien. 
85, and he's a drunkard. I think Darkholm would be the way to go. People won't like the fact that we're admitting a foreigner to the King's Guard, but he's got an amazing dual skill. And even if it drops by 20 when he turns, when he, when he becomes old, it's still gonna be pretty, pretty damn high, pretty damn high. So that's four. I think we need three more. Oh, there we go. Sir Talbart, Sir Tian, Sir Denard. Denard, you're already old. We'll pick Tian, Sir Tian. And this is, of course, assuming he actually accepts. All right, now we got some good guards. All right, show me what you have, Sir Balbin Caladrian. Uh, let's pick Talbert. We will pick Talbert. I know he's of a foreign religion, but, uh, he will work. One, two, three, four, five, six. To the chaste scholar Lord Uther, the insidious Provosi traitors must be expelled. No, I will not take sides. And we will have more. Um, these guys are all old. None of these men shall guard me. Warden title stands open. Let's see, the Warden shall be a proper soldier. I don't like him. It should be some other Lord. It's not really showing me who, who it's going to pick. Oh, here we go. Which of these fine soldiers shall the, have the honor of being my Warden? We've got our cousin, Lord Dickon. We've got Lord Commander Balon. He's in the King's God. Lord Owen of Uplands. Ooh, yeah, he's way down there. Lord Quentin of Bard's Home. So it's probably going to be... Why don't we make our cousin the Warden of the South? Uh, because he's a cruel man. Oh, uh, well... Well, you know, we gotta pick somebody, and I trust him. I trust my cousin. All right, give me another. Oh, Sir Donald of Whisper Point, Sir Davos. Ah, fine. We'll pick you, I guess. If we get prompted with that again, I'm not gonna pick the greatest knights of the realm again because, well, we've kind of exhausted that. All right. Well, you goddamn Ironborn. Ooh. I was one of the first to saddle my horse and chase after the bandits who had stolen one of the values, valuable statues from our local sept. When I returned exhausted and, and, and with filthy clothes, I was told the old septon had simply misplaced the statue. He appreciated my effort. Oh, yeah. There, I mean, that's fair. Iron King Balon. We will seek redress for your raiding. Let's see if he pays up. To the chivalrous Lord Uther, I acknowledge the wrongs made against you and your subjects, and so have dis and so have commanded Lord Dalton Botley to cease his hostile activities and to pay just recompense for damage caused. Good. Make them pay. Make them all pay. This is the, one of the fastest ways to get deposed as an Ironborn ruler is to give into uh is is to give into demands for redress. Nothing is more unpopular than telling uh, your raiders they can't raid. But you know what? We you know we are going to claim the Iron Isles though. We are gonna claim them. And I think that'll be a great way to unify the realm. So we can't raise our armies yet. I oh wait, I wanted to see how many soldiers I have. Oh, 148k. 153k. Damn. Alright. Well before we do that, let's see how everyone feels about us. Lord Paramount Norwin likes us. That's good. Uh Lord Paramount Mark likes us. House Harding in the Vale sort of likes us. Who rules the... Oh, Wainwood rules the North now. Okay. Um, Dragonstone is still ruled by the Targaryens. Daenerys... Daenerys is still a thing. Princess Visenya. Lord Commander. Can we pay for her to be released? No, she's in the dungeon of Lord Balon Swan, so I'm not sure what... I'm not really sure what Lord Balon is doing with Princess Visenya of Giscard. It's Kinda, kinda weird. I'm not sure what he's doing, and I can't seem to demand him release her, which is odd because uh, the AI can demand you to release prisoners, but you can't demand it from them, even when you're there, when you're their liege lord. All right, that's fine. Enough dithering. Let's just go declare war. Uh, royal claim on the Isles. Excellent. And hopefully we won't actually have to do a whole lot of fighting. Our ally should be able to take care. Ah, uh, the Craven Lanella Harding has failed to answer the call to arms. Ah, the coward. But, um, ooh. All right, so the Stormlands, Stormlands are in. Oh, Harding is in now. Dorne is not. Dorne is sitting this one out. I've managed to distrust between Mistress Hazara of War. Okay, so we still have somebody sowing dissent in, uh, in Slaver's Bay. Ooh, Darkholm. Gabriel Darkholm has had Loris's. Oh, Lord Commander Gabriel. Okay. 
So, okay, so Balon Swan has finally died from cancer. It took me a second to figure out what was going on. So, so Lord Commander Gabriel is now... Well, he's the new commander. Excellent. Gabriel Darkholm. All right, so they just automatically chose one. And I've meeting at a small council. Lord Mathis Meadows has recommended that Sir Eric Page be named to the King's Guard. I don't think so. That's not going to happen. A new Lord Commander of the King's Guard is needed, and he is traditionally the most senior and able of the Seven White Cloaks. Ah... Talbart Redpool, Sir Alex Stone. I think I'm going to name Sir Alex Stone because he does have the highest dual skill. And he is huge. All right, pick him. He kneels before you to take up his new duty of leading the King's God, vowing anew to protect your person from all those who may harm you. I'm certain he will be loyal and true. Bring me the knights I can trust most. Bring me knights from powerful houses. Sir Matthias Terrell. Ah, uh, he's not that good. So do we have any ships, anybody getting in boats, anything like that? Bring me knights I can trust the most. Oh, God damn it! I didn't want to pick you. I mean, ah, oh, great. Ah, that, well, congratulations, Sir Bellman. You were elected by accident. All right, my courtier, Lythene Blackwood wants to marry. Marry as you please. I care not. This really doesn't concern me. Really doesn't concern me. Let's go ahead and raise all of our forces, though. For some reason, I'm not seeing the AI getting their armies together. Maybe we should disband our... Um, here, put these guys away, and let's collect our ships first. Oh, shit. We have got an Ironborn fleet well on its way. All right, get these guys down here, too. Is King's Landing... Oh, no. King's Landing is open. It is open to the enemy. That's not good. Um... Can we raise all our forces and make them converge on the capital, please? Yes. I didn't realize that uh, our garrison had been, de had, been, had, been, had been devastated, so. All right, then the rest of you all march to Old Town. Everyone go to Old Town. Excellent. There we go. But that uh, Ironborn fleet is well on its way. Irene says her favorite toy. Who is this? My ward? Oh, I guess I have to go find it. Ugh. Taking care of other people's children. Uh, the guards drag Harmon Baratheon up from his cell and throws him at your feet. I've come for justice, he says, by right of birth and blood. I demand trial by combat. Which I'm assuming he wants to fight himself. Now, would it be wise for us to fight this personally? I mean, we have him bested by... What, 30 points? 30? But he is younger than us, so he's going to be much faster. I doubt we're going to be stronger. Let, let's let not risk the Lord Protector's life. It, it would be unnecessary. But then again, then again, it wouldn't be like Lord Uther to turn down a challenge, though. Mm. No, I think his position as Lord Protector is more important. So we'll, we, have a whole, we have a bunch of Kingsguard for this. You have that right. I would select someone to stand for his Lord. You got Sir Perse Ruthermont. There is Sir Matthias Terrell, Sir Kennod Breakstone, Sir Donald of Whisper Point. Let's see, Harmon has a pretty damn good dual skill. The only one who can really match him would be Sir Perse Ruthermont. And I'm gonna say Perse has the advantage here because he's got a he's got one level higher in terms of his dual skill. So I will pick Sir Perse. Commander Harmon Baratheon has been slain by Sir Perse. His final plan failed. Swollen ankle, black eye, and he's wounded. Yeah, it looks like they had quite the ferocious duel, and Harmon now is dead. Uh-oh, we our demean is way too large. Oh, shit, you're right. Um, maybe we can just Castle of King's Gate. Is there anything here that's of the wrong holder type? N no. No, we just got a bunch of castles. Um, do I want to give up uh, any of my titles in King's Landing? Lordship of Dark Dell. Ah, okay. Who can we give this to? Um, I, I'm, I don't really know. Maybe. Maybe we can inflate the amount of power House Hightower has. By giving uh, lordships to different high towers, 
Sir Garth Hightower. You are Lord of Thornton Hall, are you not? You're up here. But then Dickon probably would want some more titles too. City of Old Town, Lordship of Old Town, Lordship of... I, I kind of want... I'll give you Dark Dell. I'll give you Dark Dell. How about that? All right. Dark Dell is yours. And then Garth, our cousin, I will grant you... Oh, this is going to be hard. High Garden, King's Landing, Old Town. I want everything. The City of Old Town. Where is the City of Old Town? Are... I feel like we shouldn't own a city. I feel like we're of the wrong type. But it doesn't say we are. Shit. And that's kind of what's giving us so much money. Mm, is there anything else we can give up? Not really. Actually, somebody said we should make the capital in Old Town. Which I fucking forgot to do. Okay, so how about... We give one of our castles... To Gars here, Castle of the King's Gate. And that will put our domain right where it should be. Great. Ella Flowers? Who the hell is this? I'm not going to pay for your education. A key holder of the Iron Bank of Bravos has arrived in King's Landing. He's seeking repayment for the debts of my bannerman, Commanda. Commanda! Harmon Baratheon. I have their coin right here. Are you shitting me? See, this is what I'm talking about. Oh, it does say we have a loan taken. Weird. Okay. I will pay it off. Oh, there we go. Brilliant. Okay, we have lots of Ironborn. Lots of Ironborn. All right, Uther. Uther, my man. Get in position. Let's get Garland Terrell over here, and let's get Gunther over here. Maybe we want people... Let's have Purse. I want them to have great duel duelists in this army. And then we're going to march on them immediately. Yeah, it kind of sucks for those forces. They got kind of... They got jumped. But now we are fighting. Ooh, Marin Ironmaker. You were separated from your men in the, in the chaos of battle and now find yourself in the midst of war. As you scan the field and try to rejoin your forces, you see Euron break through the enemy ranks and charge you. Oh, Euron, this is not a good idea. Let's see. Get back my prince. Who is this? Joanna Greymarch. I mean, if she wants to fight, the mere, the mere sight of her makes him run away. Of course it did. <laughs> of course it did. Upon your bannerman, Lord Simon Langward. Okay. Filthy Ironborn. Do they ever really stand a chance? They're landing even more, though. Jesus. Actually, you know what? Back up. Attack them here. You guys go down here and you pursue this force. Now break up camps outside of Chidering Brook. The Battle of Chidering Brook. I could have sworn I heard the enemy commander Corrent barking orders, but as I search the plains, he's nowhere to be found. A fellow soldier finally informs me that he's been spotted cowering in the far back behind a large rock, and most disgracefully, behind his troops. Interesting. Where's Chidering Brook? Oh, it's right here? I will let everyone know of his cowardice. There you are, I've been itching for a fight. This option is available, available because you have the Brave Trait. Corrent. Well, no wonder he's been fucking cowering. He's got he's missing a leg. He's a lunatic. He's got gonorrhea. Minus 170. Let's put him out of his misery. You turn to face Corcher Corrent, and he breaks his charge and flees. How does he flee? He's got one leg. <laughs> oh, that's just silly. That's just silly. The Ironborn, poor, poor Ironborn. I mean, I don't know why I'm saying poor Ironborn. They're they're awful, but uh I've played Ironborn before, and I know how hard it is to want to go back to the, the old way and not being able to because the big bad Iron Throne will just stomps you every time you try to become independent. Here, how about um, how about you guys chill here? Merge the ships together. Chill here in Chattering Brook, please. Ooh, another army. Nice. Merge these. Get these ships over here, too. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, go up to Rosby. I didn't, I didn't see this army here. Interesting. Increase that up a little bit there. Ah, you're going to run away. Cowards. All right. There we go. The Battle of Duskendale. You're separated from your men in the chaos of battle. Yeah, so far we haven't met anyone who really poses any real threat to Lord Utha. 
Excellent. Lord Uther is certain value apart. Artifacts are rightfully the property of House Blank. <laughs> sometimes you sometimes you've got swindlers in this game. Sometimes you do. Whether it's banks claiming you have loans you need to pay when you actually don't, or uh, or um, Lord Masters who don't have their own noble house claiming that you have artifacts belonging to their non-existent noble house. There's swindlers and snake oil salesmen. You gotta watch out. What is he, what is he claiming is his? Transfer Renly Baratheon's armor from the treasury of Lord Garland the Gallant. So we just have this random Taroshi guy just demanding that Renly's armor belongs to him. <laughs> get, the, get the hell out of here. Yeah, get out of here. What the hell? That's funny. My friend Edgar has died. Okay, Edgar has died. He was rather old. He was an old man. All right. What? So did our ships already arrive there? They did, didn't they? Shit. We don't have enough boats. You can only take 120... Only 12,500 men. Shit. All right, hunt these guys down. Hunt them down. We may have to split up the forces if we're going to get to the Iron Isles. Most likely. All right, split this in half. Where's the army of Lord Uther? Go ahead and go in here. Will they also be able to join? Oh, they will. Nice. Then you guys can don't go this way and hunt down the Ironborn who are stuck on land. All right, so 9,000. Hey, what? All right, well, we can't get everybody on the ships there. We have to take. We're gonna have to take turns. Morgan Flowers. I don't want to pay for people I'm not related to. All right, come on. Catch the Ironborn now. Let's go. All right. Go ahead and merge them. Merge them. And woohoo! Looks like we are sieging Pike. Now, how many men do the squids have left? 4,000. It's not really that much of a threat, is it? Most certainly not. I, I, mean, I mean, I say a threat. I say a threat as in... Are they going to try to land in King's Landing? Because if they do, that would be a problem. Let's see, my dear, my dear friend. I wish to give you the honor of sending my child Ryla Hightower to. A sh okay, I'll see. I'll take. I'm more than happy to take care of fellow Hightowers, not people I'm utterly unrelated to. Don't inform me of such things. I have received word that your year was trying to agitate the nobles of my realm by spreading lies about me in Astapol. Rest assured that this outrageous behavior will not stand. How dare you, Empress Daenerys Stormborn, mock Lord Uther, Lord Protector. She's not going to do anything. She's not going to do... She ain't going to do shit. I'd like to see her do something about it. Danny, if we have to, we will spank you too, so... Alright, let's get this army over here to Rosby. I was going to land my troops in in the Iron Isles, but I'm pretty sure the Ironborn are going to keep coming and trying to, uh... They're going to keep trying to land. All right. Now I'll move them there. Oh, see, you didn't have, any sh didn't have anybody there. I'll honor my allegiance and take up arms to defend the realm. Okay, that's great. Good for you. Eight. All right. Easy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that? What was that? Owen Raider... Ah, Owen of the House Raider. Mance Raider was beheaded on the order of Lord Stannis, and his son was killed under suspicious circumstances. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Ooh, Lady Allery is like, responding well to tuition. Excellent. Um, something we need to watch for. Crown loyalists depose Lord Uther. How dare you, sir? And you're my treasurer. How dare you? Is there somebody better we can have? We can have Otho. We could have Otho Blaintree. Let's have you be the treasurer. And then we need a new justiciar. Um, where is the guy? Quentin. Quentin, Quentin, Quentin. You are being quite the thorn on my side, Quentin. So I'm going to send you on a special mission to Astapor. <laughs> That will take care of you. Hey, he should be lucky we're not sending him to the Isle of Noth, because I've been known to do that, too. I always managed I'll be the first of us to go, but now I am the one mourning the loss. The departure of my dear friend. Never again will I hear Lawrence's jolly laugh. Oh. Let's drink in his honor. I probably had one too many drinks, and I'm joined at the table by an inebriated Rolla Horp. 
She apparently is quite stupid. Perhaps a new friend is what I need. Oh, okay, that's fine. So is this capped at 80? Ooh, this cast's belly allows for 75% war score from battles for attackers, and we hold Marin Ironmaker prisoner. So that gives us 80. That gives us 80%. So we need to actually take take land. But uh, my allies are working on that. Ooh, I'm deeply hesitant to ask. Let's placate him with flattery. Betrothal. Who could be betrothed? Lord Samuel, the open-handed. Apparently, the high towers are just going to be known as the open-handed because they're super charitable. Excellent. Dear uncle, great. An agreement has been reached with Samwell. I shall give them plenty of gold and silver. How much money are we making? I mean, we're making 16 per month, so I suppose we could pay them. He actually really doesn't like us. Outraged by success, succession, law change, appointed a lowborn to the King's Guard, too many held High Lordships. Oh, okay, we can get rid of that. High Lordship of... Ooh. High Lordship of High Garden, High Lordship of King's Landing, High Lordship of Old Town. Ah, god damn it. Give him the High Lordship of King's Landing? I'm not really sure about that. Lordship of the Arbor. Do I give him the High Lordship of Old Town? It's going to be kind of weird if he's the lord down here and we give him the High Lordship of King's Landing here. <sighs> okay, we can't give him the High Lordship of Old Town because we're going to we're going to move the capital to to Old Town. Um so I guess I guess King's Landing would be reasonable. He, okay, we'll do that. There you are. Oh, okay, now see he loves us. He loves us. Excellent. Granted a High Lordship. So let's just offer him the customary amount. We don't need to we don't need to go above and beyond and try to try to win his favor or anything like that. News from Dragonstone, my prince, a new dragon has entered the world. Princess Aria Targaryen. Okay, okay, how many dragons are there? Because dragons would be a problem. Let's see, Adorex is 38, 41, Viserion. Rhaegal. Viserion is ridden by Princess Vena. She favored by R'hllor. I would say we should marry her into our family, but there's no one she'd be willing to marry because it's too lowly of a rank. Okay. What about a betrothal between Vortimer? Would prefer a matrilineal marriage. She won't agree anyways. Yeah, she would be a good, a good person to have. She might become a threat later on. Apparently, Visenya has been finally released as well. Will not marry Vortimer. Political concerns, but Lord's too young. Yes, I'm not sure. I think Danny might be still planning on coming to Westeros, and so Lord Uther might actually have to legit protect we Westeros from the dragons. That'd be pretty interesting. I think that'd be pretty interesting to see. Lord, it, it's absolutely in Lord Uther's uh, uh, nature to do something like that. My prince, I'd like to politely remind you of the gold that the Iron Throne owes my house. Um, what? Master Dantos. Okay. What fucking... What do we owe you? Pay the money, 93 gold. Look at these swindlers. Goddamn swindlers. So, are we making any headway in the Iron Isles? Are you guys still struggling to make it through Pike? Oh, come on, guys. Come on. Alright, so, this obviously isn't gonna... They're, the Ironborn aren't a threat anymore to our capital. So we're gonna get our guys on the ships, and we're gonna get on over to the Iron Isles and fucking end this the way it should be. And the way we're gonna do that is by sailing to the Lonely Light and taking that minuscule little island. I am the rightful ruler of the Seven Kingdoms, and King's Landing is an integral part of that title. It should be mine. Let's see. Gets a strong claim on the High Lordship, gets a strong claim on Lordship of King's Landing. I hope that doesn't piss my cousin off. Ryla is impulsive and seems unable to tell right from wrong. It's the strap for her. There we go. And we're just going to set this huge-ass army outside of King's Landing to protect it. Obligate a vassal. Yes. Yes, we want Lord Quentin to stop conspiring. And the way we're going to do that... Let's see. Is by using legalism. There we go. Legalism is... It, it depends on the learning trait. So if you've got... Or the learning stat. If you have a higher learning stat than the person you're trying to convince not to follow or, or to, to conspire in factions, you need to have a higher level in... in, in uh, in learning for the for the legalism approach to work. All right, waiting for my ships. Are my ships here. Oh wow, they got there fast. Excellent. All right, and then we're just going to jump into this castle. Come on, jump in. There we go. Now, does that undo their war score? 
from attackers. Uh, apparently the Lonely Light didn't give us much. Pike most certainly would, especially considering his family, I believe, is living in Pike, too. Alright. Placate the Envoy with some... I'm not really sure what they're asking about. I just <laughs> exited out of that menu way too quickly. Is this someone else conspiring? No. No. Here, just lower it down a little bit. I'm just having trouble selecting stuff and actually playing because so much shit's happening. Oh, anyway, guys, young Ryla is becoming a... Ooh, can we force her to train? No, I don't think you can force uh, females to train, unfortunately. I know just how to smooth this over. Do it! Alright, any crazy plots? Try to employ the demand King's Landing from Bannermen. I don't want to do that. Ask for help managing your titles. Lord Mathis will, will, will be authorized to grant titles to new holders in your name. Who is Lord Mathis? Lord Mathis is my Castellan. Oh. Mmm. Lord Paramount Breen of Tarth died without leaving any blood relatives as clear heir to the Protectorate of the Stormlands. Therefore, it falls you to settle the inheritance of the Stormlands. Ah, yes. The Stormlands shall revert to the Lord, which, 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 which would be Shireen Baratheon, who's really old at this point. Oh my god. How did, we, how did we get our titles back? Oh, we didn't. We didn't. Okay. We got the titles from, uh... <laughs> we, got, we got the titles of Storm's End and stuff. Um, do we want to revert back to Shireen? That doesn't really make sense to me because she, she's, just, she's too old to have kids now. So it wouldn't make any sense for her to, for us to give it to, to give it to her. Young Roland Gilmont is named heir to the Protectorate of the Stormlands and all the associated lands and titles previously held by Lord Lady Paramount Brienne. I mean, Shireen, we could give it to you, but you don't have any children. And you're not going to have any. Roland Gilmont will, though. So let's give it to him. And so now he gets, uh... Oh, great. So now House Gilmont will rule, uh... The Protectorate of the Stormlands. Is there anyone we can betroth to you, Roland? Ooh. Wait a minute. Is Gal I, th I thought Galissa was already... Promised to somebody. Oh, she's not. Lady Allery. Oh, God. She's disgusting. Ooh. What happened to her? Well, I, I see now why she, I see why she's a drunkard. Yeah, I see why. <laughs> okay, um, Galissa, would that be worthwhile to betroth Galissa to Lord Paramount Roland? I'm not sure. Guys, let me know in the comment section if you think we should betroth Galissa to the Lord Paramount of the Stormlands. It seems like a good idea to keep the Stormlands in our pocket. Hmm. Okay. Well, we're destroying the Ironborn. Actually, you know what? Pike is about to fall. Pike is about to fall. So let's let's wait for it to fall. There we go. Excellent, and then we can offer terms to the Ironborn, and they will surrender. Uh, the second the Iron Throne Ironborn du jour war over the Iron Throne Isles has ended, Lord Uther of the Iron Throne has won, and we have the Driftwood Crown added to our treasury. Excellent. And then we should be able to, dis to disband everybody, right? In theory, in theory... And I kind of want the Mega War feature to to end. Yeah, are we going to do that? Excellent. The war has ended. Do you wish to repoint the old council? Yes, we do. And just like that, the Iron Isles have been brought back into the Seven Kingdoms. And the Seven Kingdoms is one. Ooh, I believe one of your vassals can be discouraged from associating with conspiratorial factions. He had already wants independence. Already he's conspiring to get independence. These goddamn squids. Okay, so we took back the Iron Isles, and we're still ruling. I wonder how much t how much uh, time do we have left before we can change the monarchy? It doesn't say. Has a diplomacy greater or equal to 18? Ooh. Oh, right, right, right. We we, we get rid of the Necronomicon, and then we'll, we'll, we'll go up to 18 diplomacy, and then we can change the, uh... We can change the Republic's... The Republic's rules. Going forward... I foresee a war coming up with Empress Daenerys Targaryen, and she actually has dragons. And we can see she owns Dragonstone, which is essentially a part of the Seven Kingdoms. So I think Lord Uther is going to step up in his role to become Protector of the Seven Kingdoms by ousting these foreigners from Dragonstone and putting down the dragon threat for good. But that, ladies and gentlemen, will have to be in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, if you want to help me make more content, be sure to go 
Be sure to follow the link in the description below to my Patreon page. I have been the Golden Joe Oblivion. This has been Lord Uther the Open-Handed, Lord Protector of the Iron Throne. And until next time, I will see you all later.